Hello everyone and welcome back to Utoware Rumono. First of all, sorry for missing Friday, it's been a crazy week. That seems to be the trend lately, I don't know why, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to get started again on the next route for Aishitel. Still not entirely sure which one we're going to do yet, but we'll figure it out. But enough about other games, let's get to this one. So last time, had the whole situation with Anju faking her kidnapping, Nosori and Ogi got in trouble, and it was up to us to bail them out by framing Monzu in the most disturbing and hilarious way possible. And so now we're going to see what the repercussions of that are. Did it work? Are Nosuri and Ogi off the hook? Or did things just completely fail? It's probably fine. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. I'm just imagining this as the Anakin Padme meme. Everything turned out all right at the end, right? Right? Uh, what does that mean? Oh. だとしたら... A while after frame up, taking down the bandits, Oshtor called us to his manor for something important. If I had to guess, I'm guessing that Nosori and Ogi are going to be joining us, right? Maybe? Tonarto. After a little while, Oshtor arrives and takes a seat. Okay, what exactly does that imply? So you're telling us that us getting caught in frame for or set up for treason would be better than what's happening? Hmm? Huh. Individual of distinction. That could be one of several people. つまり。まさか。そう。ミカド。その大方で荒らせられる。オッケー、ミカド。この山とに君臨する荒人神。ミカド。こう。ミカド。この山とに君臨する荒人神。ミカド。この山とに君臨する荒人神。ミカド。この
そなたの身の安全は保証しかねる。Thank you. やっぱり怒りを買ってブレーブチとかか。いや、その程度のことで正常の激凛に触れることなどはありえぬ。But it would bother all of his underlings. だが、ヤマトの民は別だ。ヤマトの民にとって正常は太陽。絶対たるお方。そのお方の感謝を無限にする。すなわち、侮辱したと感じるものも少なくはないだろう。Oh no, just think what kind of candy that vendor would make us eat this time. その意味が、わからぬ気候ではあるまい。<笑>そして、そなたを闇討ちする輩がいたとしても、民はもちろん、ケビーシすら見てみるふりだ。Oh, okay. 正直。そなたの身の安全は保証いたしかねる。なんと、理不尽。正常のご意向に背くとはそういうことだ。ああ、言っておくが、くれぐれも仮病で辞退するなどとは言わぬことだ。So what you're telling me is I should stop trying to put little dots all over my body with this sharpie.Okay, got it. 正常を欺こうとしたとがで、今この場で、首をはねねばならなくなる。I mean, what sharpie? おい、何さらりと物騒なこと言ってんの ?Why do I feel like that means somebody's tried to do that in the past? すまぬな。だが、事実を曲げていっても、友のためにはなるまい。Somebody 100% has tried to do that in the past. だったらもう少し申し訳なさそうに言えよ。さて、これで趣旨も立場も理解できたであろう。Wait, we're going now. Ah, high it's through my knee. What's that? You should be able to get a little bit of 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 a little I looked desperately over to Kuon to try and get some help. Ah, no, she was gone. Okay. Kuon, don't know. Sorry, hold on. Thanks. Hey, you would have done the same thing if you had thought of it. All my struggling amounts to nothing as the soldiers haul me outside the room and into the carriage. They tied me up for good measure. Seemed a little excessive. エンライのマレビト、ハクドノ、イザイア、マイラセタマエ。I didn't have enough time to straighten out the clothes. I'm all puffed up as I exit the carriage. Somebody put me in the dryer. マルデッドウケダナ。Ah, it can't be any worse than、uh, Mararo. I look towards the throne. Both sides of the path are lined by pompous looking guys. Also, this throne room looks familiar, which leads me to believe that the、uh, Mikado is not a good guy, because I think he was laughing maniacally. I just stand there, clueless. Oshtor standing at my side murmurs under his breath for me. それがしと同じようにギョクザの前で膝をつく。正常が表を上げようとおっしゃったら顔を上げる。お聞き。それで、今はどこで転がすんだ<笑> ?I understood that reference.I could just ask to go home to Kansas. なんだそれはいや、ちょっと行ってみたくなっただけだ。That's a super meta joke.That joke doesn't even make sense in this world. 何そう固くならず、そなたらしく堂々と振る舞えばよい。正常も、そなたが姿勢の民だとご存知だ。多少の間違いや無作法は、お気になさらねえ。Okay, whatever you say, scratch his butt. むしろ変に取り繕ったり、こびへつらう方が、心象を悪くするであろうな。His comments hanging in the air, Oshtor begins moving forward, and I follow suit. We both arrive before the throne, 
and kneel. Is it going to be the old man from that mysterious room? After a short silence, his voice echoes across the audience hall once more. <laughs> Pretty darn sure. At those words, I slowly lift my head. I look up to the throne to see an old man seated there, his face hidden. The Mikado, I presume. Be careful, he might be able to read your thoughts. But my train of thought comes to an abrupt halt when I see the face of the young woman standing next to him. I knew it. It is him. Also, he's got normal ears. Well, human ears. The woman standing there is, without a doubt, Hanukkah. Wait, but that means... Dot dot dot. Haku. I snap back to reality, realizing the Mikado is calling my name. Haku. Uh, there's a little thing that's blocking the upper half of your face. But no, no, otherwise good. Is he going senile or something? I can't see his face in the first place. Oh, maybe from Haku's angle he can't see his face at all. Don't I know you, mister? Oh, perhaps that was the wrong thing to say. I try and improvise, but it sounds like I hit a landmine. I feel the air in the hall freeze, but... よもしせの真の前に姿を見せなくなって久しいが姿への類いは出回っておるからのそれを見かけたのであろういやいやだつだつ。そうかもしれません。Very convincing. The tension in the hall fades a little with the Mikado's words, but my questions remain. どういう人物それとも他人の空に姉妹だがどの道味方を前にして迂闊に聞くわけにはいかないか下手なことを言わずに黙っておいた方がいいなさて白衣よその方が賊に囚われた我が娘を救い出したそうじゃな I've expected to be the golden necklace that Anju's always carrying around. It's like, ah, damn it, it found its way back to me. Mikado gives a small nod to Hanuka, as if to signal her. Hanoka gives a deep bow to the Mikado. Ooh. Suddenly, I hear music begin to play from somewhere. An elegant and entrancing tune. Indeed it is. Oh, hi. Then two figures gracefully land before me, like they just flew in somehow. Oh my touch. It's that mysterious duo. The ones from before with the Apriyu. I mean, they're around. Always getting the answers we need. They stand utterly still, back to back. And suddenly, like breaking a spell, they raise their arms. 
They fluidly shift in opposite directions and sway their arms and hips to the music's rhythm. They gradually lower their arms in time with the music and they begin to take steps away from me. Facing each other, they leap into the air. The Apriyus are cast off, fluttering in the air behind them. And we finally get to see what they look like. I mean, we know from the menu. Ooh. Huh? What? What were you expecting? Oh. Um? No. <laughs> Seriously, what were you expecting? I thought they were ghosts. They're both stunning. Their faces look almost sculpted, like a master artisan's finest work. Their hair glimmers like silk under light, and their smooth skin looks as delicate as porcelain. They might be twins. They have identical faces, but their skin tone differs, one fair, one dark. They seem to be making some sign with their fingers as they spin around me in their flowing dance. I can only stand there mutedly, entranced by the sight. Their movements quicken as the tempo does. Sweat glistens and sparkles and jewels on their skin. They resolve and sway, switching sides again and again until they finally stop right in front of me. And as they both kneel before me, the music stops. What? <sighs> The dance was the reward, unless, for some reason, these two are going to be accompanying us now, which I suppose would also be the reward. Okay, I kind of said that as a joke, but, um... Huh? Uh, apparently, the sentiment is shared. Huh? It is. That's a very open-ended statement. It's not that kind of game. The two of them look up, meeting my eyes with keen stares. Ururu and Sarana. Okay. I feel something oddly moist and soft on my feet. I look down to find the two of them have prostrated themselves to kiss my feet. Whoa, okay, uh, you don't need to do that. <laughs> well, I have to say this took a turn I was not expecting. This is going to get some really interesting reactions when we get back to the secret base. Well, I guess it's not secret, but the base. The not-so-secret base. Okay, the implications of that are a little horrifying. At least Haku, I mean, Haku is a little questionable, but he's not sleazy, so that's something. Okay, see you in the fancy room sometime, I suppose. Anoka bows quietly at the Mikado's words, and slowly pushes the throne away. Oh, it moves. Alright, oh, cause wheelchair. Yeah. Looks like the throne is really an elaborate wheelchair. It glides smoothly toward the back. As Honoka leaves, she quickly turns to me. Doka. Oh, um, didn't know they were, well, uh, little awkward. We will, I hope. Huh? Yep. Her only reply is a smile, and she returns to pushing the wheelchair, 
The two disappear into the back. I rise, calling to them without thinking. That probably was a mistake. But this time, there is no protest, no outcry. The hall remains deadly silent. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Uh, why? Oshtor sharply looks back. Some kind of signal. A clamor begins rippling through the Grand Hall. Oh. How many cigars do you smoke, man? That's not good. Hey, you like us when you're undercover. Mm. Oh. I don't think that's really for you to question, Yamu. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, now I like Mikazuchi. I'm pretty sure he can take you. That is true. Wait, you sympathize with him? You do know he's a sleaze bag, right? He is the biggest bag of sleaze. まさか高が庶民に鎖の鴨名義を与えるかこれは何の冗談だ<笑> that pretty much cements the idea that uh, it was in fact the Mikado that we met in the other room. さてまさかこのようなことになるとはな面白い you are taking this very well。まさかやっぱ今回のことは何か変なのか一言で言えばありえぬいくら姫殿下の窮地を救ったとはいえまさかカムナギを駕使してくださるとはありえぬってそんなにかあいややっぱり言わなくていい嫌な予感がする I feel like at this point you probably should know because you're caught up in it whether you want to be or not. Oh, is this the, your normal pose now? Is this what you do when you're not in Pac-Man ghost mode? その二方はカムナギだ。しかも大宮寺ほのか様の娘たちであり、その後継でもある鎖のカムナギと呼ばれる方々だ。ちょいこら。彼女たちは just when I think that the situation is already kind of unbelievable, the stakes keep getting higher. Oh, okay, well, that's good. Do you, does anybody know? Gee, I guess I shouldn't tell him that I actually, uh, fell in the last fight against the bandits because I made some bad calls. You know what? He doesn't need to know. Okay, 
これほどの栄養を賜ったものなどそういまい。That's saying something, because I think the Mikado has been around for a really long time, if I remember right. これは、城を賜る以上の総挙。言葉では言い表せぬほどの、めでたきことなのだ。そして、白土。そなたは、我ら中席にも、一目置かれる存在となった。良い意味でも。Judging from the reactions, I'm going to go with for worse. So, this is where things get real. I can tell from Oshtor's smile that the subtext is just give up and accept it. It was only a kiss. It was only a kiss. Wait, no, no, it wasn't. I thought it was going to go back to trivial stuff like next on the list is picking up groceries. Oh, I guess you're going to be with me this whole time. That's fine. Apparently, whatever you want. Close of chains. So, no, no, you're going to stay. Where is someone that he can let him know? Honoka, some coitra or musumetoka. Ah, so the musumet and I'm not a problem that I get a motor kid at the only. Oh, kick the dear son of Okosan, this name. Okay, go hobby, the don't know that. I hear you go. Introduce yourselves. This is Kuan. And unfortunately, Kuan and the others were waiting for me at the gates. Prepare to be. I don't even know. Kwan dashes forward, a curious smile on her face, but then she stops with her brow furrowed. So, what's that? Oh boy. Kwan points at the girls leaning on me and dressed in rather revealing clothing. Uh... Here it comes. Mega o y o i d e r a r u s i s a m a どうしましたかアルチ様いやなんと申しますミカドがくれるっていうか I, I feel like there was a better way to phrase that I really do くれる Like oh these two are really important and they were granted to me in a very I don't even know how to phrase it You know what maybe he was right ホビノ Oh, surely you know the significance of this. <sighs> Or not? <sighs> well, uh, okay. First request as your quote unquote master, please never use the word flesh puppets again. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I want to know what this literally translates to. Somebody who understands Japanese, please tell me. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, right. I could not refuse. 
なんかうんこに湧いてる宇治を見るような目ですね<笑>いつの間にか主治にくりんなんてお兄さんも墨に置けない<笑>いやだから違うってのそれに仕方なくだからな帝がやるってよこしたもん断れるわけないだろうそっかじゃあ仕方ないね I can't tell if you're being serious or not なんだろうにこやかなのになんか怖い Is it reaching her eyes? し信じてますから I don't believe you though To get her a bag. Oh, I know. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. As we make our way back to the Hakuro Kaku Inn, I feel eyes of passerbys on me. I guess it's only natural. I've got Kuan, Rulatia, Ati, Nekone, and those twins beside me. Personalities aside, they're all pretty good looking, and I'm the only guy accompanying all of them, and I'm pretty mmm looking. Yeah, no wonder. If I saw a guy cruising down the street like this, I'd be jealous too. <sighs> Until I saw that face. <sighs> and that one. <sighs> that one's fine. <laughs> yeah, I should probably try to accept reality. The judgmental strangers are one thing, but the stares from Kuan and the others hurt even more. Because of the implications, the questionable implications. Well, I mean, they do have of chains in their title. Oh, okay. Wait, but you guys didn't have chains on when we were in the palace. Oh. Are, are you always going to have to wear them when we go out? Like, are we taking you for a walk right now? Oh. Okay. It seems like they're really into this. They keep refusing to take those off. I guess if it makes them happy. メール。メールなら <laughs> it sure seems that way. Why do you keep bringing that up? I have questions about the training. How did this go? <laughs> They are going to make your life so much more complicated. <laughs> I didn't bring it up. Kuan's eyes narrow to slits, and Nekone levels a cold gaze at me like I'm utter scum. Wow. I can hear people whispering behind me. Yamate, Shinai Karana. Huxum, 
不潔です不潔です不潔です不潔です不潔です不潔です I think we broke her. I don't know why, but Roulette is mumbling quietly to herself with a blank stare. It's freaking me out. It's like the King Midas situation. He can't actually do anything without just everything completely falling apart. Like, he touches something and it turns to gold, and it's pretty to look at, but he can't eat, he can't drink, and he can't get comfortable. There are a lot of parallels. The moment we get back to the Hakurokaku, I quickly get those chains off the twins. The two of them look at me with longing expressions, but I choose to ignore them. Sate. ようこそハクロカクへ。歓迎するね。私はクオン。そっちの子は猫のにルルティエ。その隣の子が後へ。ルルル。サラーナです。猫ねです。この度お二人には災難だったです。できるだけ力になりますので、気を落とさないでほし
It seems to me like he's trying to sow some kind of unrest with the Pillar Generals, judging from their reactions. But why? Is he looking to change up the structure of the leadership in the country or something like that? I don't know. Okay. Back to the vagaries. It's like the phrase, curiosity killed the cat. But everybody forgets the latter part. Satisfaction brought him back. Yes, they do, but they're often cut short. Okay, if you're cheering on from the side, does that mean I can actually maintain my own money now? I'm guessing that's a no. But the two just look at me, their expressions meek and puzzled. They can read my mind too. And the two begin to prepare the tea, as though they had read my mind. あ、そばに Um. This is news to me. <笑><笑><笑><笑> Well, in the fan fiction that I wrote about him and Ush, you know what, never mind. I think a better question would be, what don't they intend to do with him? He's taking this very much in stride, considering the topic of conversation. And one that wants to kill me. Yeah, that's kind of the theme, I think. The two of them skillfully prepared the tea, working in total sync to multitask throughout everything. あつさも味も自分好みだ。いや、本当意外だ。変な言葉から口走ってるから半信半疑だったんだがな。たかが茶では<笑> 
They bow without changing expressions, and kneel next to me, as if that's where they belong. Their bodies lean against mine, and I can feel their warm touch. Oh yeah, when they were shrouded. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
she's getting aggressive. <laughs> oh, he's in so much trouble. But it's hilarious. Oh, we're having a flashback. Been a while since we've had one of those. Oh, we can see faces this time. I mean... Literally. She looks a lot like Hanoka. Or maybe that's just my imagination. You wouldn't mind what now? <laughs> oh, but she likes you. No, my curry. I must curry favor with you. <laughs> but it never happened. Ah, <laughs> So do you just do you stick the needle in after you die or before? What's the order of operations here? Oh, what does he want? I was working on my literacy assignments one afternoon when Nekone told me, grim faced. Hi, this. Does he want to fight me? Because he'll win. Well, he does like Nekone. わざわざ呼び出したりして何の用だどうした渋い顔をして何か不安なことでもまああんな人物に呼び出されたら不安になるのもわかるがだがいこれはきっと暴力なのですはあ兄様に近しいものをおびき寄せて角沸かし手ご
相手は兄様の宿敵であるあの佐藤衛大将三日月強い気持ちで望まないと飲まれてしまうですよ。literally or figuratively。figuratively right。right。and thus we arrive at mikazuchi's manor。白様、猫ね様。お待ちしておりました。まずはお上がりください。はい。Before she even sees Mikazuchi, Nekone cowers behind my back, peering nervously from the side. Oh, I can't remember how to say his name. Muruji. I think that's right. Chuckles quietly, noting her blatant display of fear. <laughs> Looks as though she still feels compelled to fulfill her duty. I proceed into the manor, Nekone trailing behind me and pushing from behind. Alright. <laughs> well, there is the laugh. It's. Odd being delivered by another person, but it's still there. Oh. So t o m o s h a k e n a i n o d e s a Ima b e t n o k a k s a m a i r a s t e m a s t e Ukdeo Machita da Kuonito, o s e t k a t o r i m a s Kaku? Hi. Totsen no Gorai Ho de Okotori Modekiz. Ano Koamote no Mikazuchina Kotore Nai Haite. It's one of the pillar generals. As we walk, a voice calls out from beyond a sliding door. Must have heard our footsteps. Meruji's voice cracks noticeably as he responds to the voice beyond the door. The voice wasn't Mikazuchi's. Who could make Meruji this flustered? Really hope I'm saying his name right because I'm having to say it a lot. <laughs> Different game. Kamawan, I hear Mikazuchi give his permission to the guest behind the doors. Meruji has paled, and I can see sweat beating on his forehead as he whispers, hand on the door. Why are you apologizing? That makes it worse. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Mikazuchi is first to greet us. Across from him sits the other guest, presumably. In military attire with a young page nearby. Oh, yeah, he is one of the pillar generals. I can't remember his name, though. <laughs> Meruji seems confused as to where to seat us, dithering anxiously. The man looks over, appraising us. We k i n d of do too. I ask Nekone as she seems to have recognized him. She shrinks back even more, hiding behind me. That's it, thank you. Nekone, having been hiding this whole time, suddenly scampers out from behind me and bows her head. Raiko's gaze falls on Nekone, 
and something appears to dawn on him. He knows. I mean, he's supposed to be a brilliant strategist, of course he knows. Negune darts a suspicious glance at Mikazuchi, but he shrugs, as if to say he knows nothing of it. I have the feeling he knows everything that there is to know going on. Raiko responds with some reluctance, though his detached tone suggests it's no big deal. Oh no, he opened his eyes. Raiko then looks towards me. Well, now Mikazuchi knows too, thanks. Good, can you explain the whole situation with the two girls then? <laughs> I mean, you got the whole title card thing in that prior episode. As he speaks, Raiko gracefully rises from his seat. Raiko's gaze turns towards Mikazuchi, sitting across from him. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, but it's still nice to do intros. Oh, that's gonna be hard to remember. Shiria. I know I'm going to forget that when I see it again and don't hear it pronounced. The boy alongside Raiko smiles cheerfully at us and gives a small bow. <laughs> oh, I did say it right. Miruji seems to have noticed my expression and he whispers for my benefit. Raiko once again turns his eyes on us, and his mouth curls into a thoughtful smirk as he speaks. That's a smirk? No, no. It's an upside down smirk. Raiko's eyes become sharper, his stare fixed and piercing. It sounds like you know more about the situation than Haku might. I shrug wryly as I reply. The tension in Raiko immediately fades, and his expression lightens a bit. With that, Raiko glides right past us, making for the door. Raiko answers Mikazuchi without bothering to turn. Huh? 
Hmm? Mikazuchi's brow furrows at Raiko's words. Then... Raiko leaves with a strange abruptness, as though he had suddenly lost interest in us. He probably had. Chichira hurriedly follows, and Meruji, after a small bow, quietly exits to escort them out. Mikazuchi remains where he is, motionless, still staring at the closed door. <sighs> and things get awkward again. Nekone once again hides behind my back, the gloomy atmosphere apparently breaking her resolve. Who knows how much time passed after that. Mikazuchi suddenly turns his piercing stare on us, as if to ask what we're still doing here. Mm. Was that the whole reason you wanted us here? <laughs> Mikazuchi's cold stare bores into us. Unable to handle the pressure, Nekone shrinks further behind my back, hiding as best she can. Yes, you are. <laughs> Not a very good shield. <sighs> from time to time, Nekone glares at him in a show of intimidation, but recoils from his staring back. Ah, uh, about time for what? At my timid question, Mikazuchi finally breaks his heavy silence. Really? You... I don't think you could take him. I don't think anybody in our group could take him. Well, maybe. Jab, jab, whoosh. Protect me, beach shield, push. Nekone jumps in surprise at the voice and tightly grabs onto my clothes, hands shaking. Meruji and several others show their difference to Mikazuchi, then enter with trays in their hands. Kashini. Kudamono. Huh, he doesn't seem like the type. Nekone tries her best to look completely unruffled as the table is filled with tray after tray. Mikazuchi's like one of those really big, burly guys you see walking into a Starbucks that orders the biggest, floofiest frappuccino. I gaze in awe at all the high-quality treats being placed in front of me. You see, I got a bunch of fruit. You got the twin chains. What's up with that? Fruits are not Mikazuchi glowers in his servant's general direction, and Maruji hastily apologizes. Maruji quickly bows his head and returns to his place among the other servants. それに宮廷画しか。どんな手柄を立てたらこんなに配慮されるんだか。大和の総益と歌われるのは伊達じゃないってことか。というか、なんでそんなもの。
Is he? Utskushi to Omoanka. Ha Kono Kute Gashida Kimekomakana Tskurini Moyo Marude Moyo Zaikuna. He just starts smashing them. Ah, ma. Sono Iro Azayakana Minami no Kudamonomoda Iro Toridori no Miga Utskushkaro. Surya Ma. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Okay, my joking assessment of him must have been right. Oh, maybe he's trying to do it for Nekone's benefit. Sounds like somebody's mouth is watering. I kind of get the feeling that Mikazuchi actually really likes and dotes on Nekone, but for some reason she just views him with disdain as the opposite of her brother. Nekone looks on in wonder, admiring the mountain of treats before us, beginning to waver. あの、ピタピタ。あの大きくて派手やかなの。まるで別の果物なのです。お菓子もあんなにキラキラしてて、あんなの初めて見たのです。あの黄金色のふわふわしたお菓子。あれは一度だけ兄様が持ってきてくれ
人を盾にしておいて威嚇すんな Tower Shield Man, protect me! <笑>安心するがいい。何も画策などしていないさ。何も。な That doesn't sound like you mean that, Smirk. Maybe he's just one of those guys that has resting murder face. Naraba, Kisamara to Chano Yu of Kakomoto. I'm not good at social situations. I'm good at murdering. But I also like tea. Have some. Jimun Tachito? Homusme wa amai mono ga ski da to kiku. So ste. Aratana tomo to yuko of kameru no mo ikyo. So omo wanka. I'm afraid if I say no. Tomo. Tomo te no wa. Jimun no koto ka. Tsumari. Jimun Tachito chakai ni shotai shita to. それ以外に何がある？ああ、そう言われると、確かに恐ろしい形相ではあるが嫌な感じ、敵のようなものを感じない。もし何かを企てようとしているのなら、もっと禍々しい感じが。That's probably true. Yeah. Okay, well. 十二分過ぎるくらいに禍々しかったよ。どう見ても何かたくらんでいるようにしか見えんだろうしかし猫ねはともかく自分を罠にはめたところで大した意味はないよな人質にもなりそうにないし True. それによくよく考えてみればこっちをどうこうしたいならわざわざ茶を振る舞う手間なんて必要ないか Just comes busting into the inn in the middle of the night BAM and they're gone おそらく力づくならあっという間に肩がつくはずだろうからな。I glance to Nekone, and though she still looks weary, her eyes keep flickering to the desert mountain. <laughs> Sorry, not the desert mountain, to desert mountain. Capital. It's a destination. しょうがない。ここは一つ。I pick up one of the so called court suites and take a bite out of it. あ<gasps> これはお前な何をしてるですか何言ってんまあつまりうんこれは毒味だいやうんあ、oh, definitely poison you shouldn't eat any of this こっちは卵を使った菓子だなあハクさん何の真似なのです Well I've lived a good life if I have to go out eating delicious foods is a good way to go まあ待て結果が出るまで時間がかかる And with that, I begin to eat one treat after another. Hmm? これはミカドカカエノンスツデ、トコベツニサイバイサレタモノナノデ、カンジョクステイテトテママイノデスヨ。ミカドノツマリコンダイワミカドタダヒトリノモノノノカ。スイツァゴセダナ。あれがウワサノ。She gulps. It sounds like she's practically drooling at the thought. これは種ごと食べられるのか<笑>シャリシャリしてうまいなうんほうまいうまいこいつを食えないやつは残念だな<笑> The temptation, it's too great I can't resist the allure The siren call of desert mountain TM At long last, Nekone's hand slowly reaches for one of the fruits おいおいいいのかもしどこでも入っていたらこれはあくまで学術的な研究なのですその貴重な南方の果物を食す機会などないのですよ them, 
実際に食べて味や毒性を知らなければ食文化は発展しないのですこ,ここで倒れても本能というものなのです<笑>この甘さ酸味南国のお日様の味というのはこういうものなのですね<笑> That's the tagline Dessert Mountain Taste the flavor of the tropical sun Ding Nekone's face suddenly contorts in pain. No, she just swallowed too much. My gaze whips to Mikazuchi. Unruffled, he pours something into a cup and hands it to Nekone. Chada? Koremo is Shoni Tamawata. Kujuri no Kochi de Saibai Sareta to Kiku. Oh, yeah, that's where we came from. Kudamono ni Monita. Maruji adds brightly as his lord hands over the tea. <laughs> she must be desperate. She seizes the tea from his hands and gulps it down immediately. <laughs> but you didn't even savor the tea. Nekone glares at Mikazuchi. Got a safe face. I kind of feel like the mm, 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 was asking for help. Nekone looks away as she says this. <laughs> Fine. Nekone holds her head, falling silent. She is probably dealing with some complex emotions. After deliberating for a while, Nekone awkwardly mutters to Mikazuchi. After a moment, Mikazuchi gives her a nod of understanding. He's not one to accept thanks. It almost seemed like Nekone's apology flustered him for a second. Maybe it's just my imagination? Yeah, he dotes on her. And despite her earlier mishap, Nekune continues to wolf down the snacks, tail wagging in delight. It looks as though she's been completely entranced by all the delicacies. It's perfectly adequate. Nekone falters as she answers, but continues reaching for more. Nekone looks a little guilty as she faces Mikazuchi. Okay, so he's actually a nice guy. He's just really intimidating. She's going to try to save face again. Nome. お前の故郷である縁な神井の茶だ。懐かしかろうと思い取り寄せておいた。歌詞も茶も帰りに包ませよう。好きなだけ持って帰れ。Although she couldn't conceal her glee, she quickly covers her mouth, looking between him and the treats. 
Yeah, that kind of confirms my theory. Mikazuchi gives another sinister grin, like he's got some evil scheme in mind. A smile like that would make you think you'd get sent to the front lines for taking one of his gifts. <laughs> Nekone gulps in fear. <sighs> I mutter for Nekune's ears only. I am a nice guy. This is my happy face. See? Probably not. It's not his fault. I mean, he's got the intimidating mask, he's got the smirking grin, he's got the really angled eyebrows. He's just got everything working against him. Is he, though? Nikone takes an angry chomp of the bonbon in her hand. But I couldn't sense any hostility from her towards Mikazuchi, either. アニキの公的種だから認めたくないだけなんじゃないのかいや、ネコンも、ミカズチもいいやつなんだが、その競争というやつ的な口調に加え、口下手なせいで誤解を助長してるように感じるが。しかし、うまいきっかけでもあれば